Hello, and welcome to a new series on Derp Shield. This will be following the game Skyborne. It is a RPG game made on the uh, program RPG Maker, which is available through the Steam platform. This game, uh, after having played it for a couple hours last night, um, reminds me a lot of the game Golden Sun and Fire Emblem, those types of games that were available on the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. Um, that I played a lot during high school, so this is a bit of a nostalgia trip because I love these types of games. Anyway, let's get started. Alright. Just gotta mess with the settings a little bit because it's a bit too loud. You don't save in between games. Alright. Ah, another day in paradise, Coggy. So what if the sun can't break through the smog? It gives our shop some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. I just rewired that! <sighs> I wonder if I can trade you in for a cat, Coggy. Everything okay in here, Claret? Nothing I can't handle. Just a little pest problem. Okay. We've got an important client coming in soon, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean, unlike some people I know. I wasn't talking about your workspace. Your clothes are covered in engine grease. I'm not paid to look clean. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, we need to we need that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. Hmm. What does the client care if their mechanic is clean? Now, where did I leave my rivet gun? Oh, right over there to the left by the front desk. Well, well. Looks like we might have a renegade half-breed on the loose. Let me go! I am not a half-breed. I've been through processing already, so lay off. He doesn't have any wings, sir. Some halvesies are late bloomers. Besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. What's going on here? We've got a report of a free half-breed in this part of town. You know the law. You're harassing my employee in my shop? Whoa, take it easy, lady. I think you should leave. Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Typical dirt stomper. You're lucky you've got the client you do, else you and I would have words. Keep your nose clean, human. Corwin, are you okay? I'm fine. Thanks, Claret. Hmm. What makes them think they can treat people that way? Probably something about their wings, their magic, and the fact that they won the war. I'm so sorry, Corwin. I don't know why the Skyborn Prefects are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. They beat you up daily? Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. Please don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. Uh, 
What a mess, Coggy. Ah, uh, well, I need to fix the airship anyhow. And whoever flies it must be the world's worst pilot. The navigation corps is completely shot. We're all out. But I should be able to pick up a new one in the city. Oh, I'll be fine. Besides, if I run into trouble, I do know how to use a rivet gun after all. I just need to grab those before I head out. Alright, got ourselves some dual wield in action going on with rivet guns. That is an experience note, you can find them throughout the world. They give you a small amount of experience. Uh, it's quite a large amount of experience for the early levels, so that's nice. Long time no speak, Harold. I need a navigation core for an Osprey Mark II yacht. Please tell me you guys have one sitting around. Osprey Navcore. Yep, got one right here. Don't sell these much, they run about 40 bits. But I'll let one go for 30 for Spencer's lovely girl. Thanks! Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? Yay. Ow! Who dares to? Oh great, it's that crazy mechanic again. Oh great, that pompous skyborn again. I've just had about enough of your lip, human. Time to teach you some manners. You'll be sorry you messed with Claret Spencer. Ha! You think I'm afraid of a rivet gun? You've obviously never faced a skyborn warrior. Come on, you two. I'll not have brawling in the streets. Leave the humans to its works. Leave the human to its work. Surely we have more important things to do. Urgh. As you wish, sir. Human, I'll be keeping my eye on you. Yeah, you better fly away. Alright, time to finish this airship job. Claret, I'd like to introduce you to Sylvan Chesterford. Chesterford. Mr. Chesterford, this is my younger sister Claret. She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. Hello there, um, miss? Hi. Since when do we have- since when do I have to deal with clients? Er, <laughs> well... Mr. Chesford wanted to see how the repairs are coming along on his airship. His airship? Oh, so you're the owner. Yes, it's been making an odd clanking sound lately. I assume you... I assume you'll be able to repair it? Ha! The clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire, but I also found that a bent propeller, worn out struts, loose lug nuts, and a giant gouge in the hole. This poor, this poor girl's been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired. Surely I'm not that bad. I've taken at least a month's worth of the best flying courses money can buy. You did this? You, you... Claret, important client. Mr. Fancy Pants here is abusing his ship. This model isn't even a year old, and look at the condition it's in. Anyway, Mr. Chesford, let's go discuss that business contract. Right now. You don't deserve an airship! 
<laughs> angry. Angry, angry lady. And that's why Jake won't let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. Besides, that guy was such a tool, I could have used him. I could have fixed the airship using him. Well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chessfords are the wealthy are in the wealthiest circle. Are in the wealthiest circles. They are even accepted into Skyborn society. We could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Assuming he doesn't crash his ship into the Celestial Palace or something. Huh. Phew! Just about ready. Thanks again. Your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. I'm, I'm glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I look forward to a fresh slew of insults on the morrow from your oh-so-charming sister. Farewell! <sighs> Claret, don't you think you could... Don't you think just this once you could have tried to make a good impression? Sorry, Jake. That guy's got on my nerves. Yeah. Um, Claret, there's something I need to talk to you about. What now? I don't think you're gonna like it much. Okay. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already. You're freaking me out! I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chestford. What? Look, I know you like to focus on your work, but... Look around you. Big things are happening in this city. And I can't just sit here sit fixing widgets forever just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop. I've already made the deal and the contract is signed. Sorry, Claret. How could you? This... This is our home. Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after Mom and Dad walked out on us. Can't blame them. They probably didn't want to be stuck here either. How can you say that? Are you going to leave me to... Now hold on a second. I've made sure you'll be taken care of. Trust your big brother. What? I've never seen so much money. Mr. Chesford and I spent hours working out the deal. In addition to you getting half of a very generous sum of money from the shop sale, there's a way you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. You become Mrs. Chesterford. You have got to be kidding. Nope. We talked about it, it took some haggling, but he's agreed. You sold me as a part of the shop? Well, well, no. I meant I had to haggle to get him to take you. Ah! This is why men aren't good with women. We say all the wrong things all the time. Hold on one second. Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. My brother is an idiot. How could he do this to me? And what made him th think? What made him think I'd marry that Cl Chesterford guy? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Coggy. I've got a plan. The airship is still in the work bay and is flight ready. Let's go.
Corwin, er, I was just getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I'll pretend I didn't see you. You will? Every person should be free to make their own choices. Thanks, Corwin. Oh, one more thing. Could you give this to Jake when you see, when you see him? Goodness, isn't this your share of the sale money? He's gonna need it. Take care, Corwin. Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake's going to be furious. Good. Looks like everything's here. What the? Sounds! <laughs> thud? There should be no thud. I triple checked the engine earlier. You? What are you doing here? The shop is closed hours ago. It's my ship. What are you doing flying it? I was just... I was only... Look, Jake told me about your little contract. I've decided it's unacceptable. I'm taking this ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you! We have a signed agreement. Ah! Storm Rook Sky Patrol drones. I ran straight into them. Ha! Now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me. Blast. How exactly am I going to explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. Oh, now you want to talk about it? A little late. The drones are closing in. Bother. Let's fight them off. Fight them? I thought you... Come now. You don't want to be arrested for theft and kipping, kidnapping, do you? No, but... Err... Uh, I guess I have no choice. Coggy, take the wheel. Here they come! Let me take the brunt of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Claret. They'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you mean, threat? Why can't we just blast these out of the sky? You draw attention to yourself by dealing damage. If your threat gets too high, hang back and defend while I try to draw a threat away from you. Just be careful and don't get yourself killed. Bo's weakness acquired. I say, Claret, you're a dab hand with those rivet guns. Er, thanks? Why are you helping me all of a sudden? Never helps to antagonize your kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody. That's wonderful news! You'll return my ship and my person to the dock then. No way I'm going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh! Are you my new chauffeur? We ought to discuss your wages. Urgh. Look right here, Sullivan. We both want you off this boat. Fine. 
I'll let you off wherever you want, but I'm keeping the ship. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown, and we can go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You do that? Why not? I can always buy another. Well, I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal. Huh? Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came up here once with Jake and Corwin when we needed parts for a job, but I didn't see much. Oh, fear not. I'm a directional genius. Just head into town and the registry office will be all the way to the west, right next to the town square. I didn't talk to everyone there. I need to talk to them because they give you stuff. Guards milling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> guards milling about again. Could it be the Red Spectre? Ugh. Why don't the guards catch him already? Bloody hell. What is it? What's going on? The Red Spectre. He's something of a local menace. Well, what does he do? Petty crime, usually. Vandalizing public property, harassing this guy from prefects and the like. He's been getting bold as of late, though. Why don't the guards catch him? Oh, they're trying. So far, none of. There he is! The Red Spectre!
Run, you fool. Goodness, they're right on your tail. You're really into this. Yes. Yes. Big fan. So stylish. Jump. Get out of there. No! Dirt stompers should stay in the dirt. I don't see how a bumbling fool like you has managed to evade the guards along, but it ends now. You sure do like criminals, huh? I, uh, ahem. You inept brigands do have a sort of charm, I suppose. I am not a criminal. need, my lord. Good sir, record this bill of sale for us, if you would. Ah, not too many can say they own an airship. Lucky girl you are. Done and done. That's it, then? Certainly, the ship is yours. Congratulations. Thanks. Allow me to walk you back to the docks. I think it can find my way. No, no, I insist. Directional genius, remember? Right. Okay, whatever, then. Of all the bloody messes, er, something wrong? My dear friend, I'm much of... My dear, oh, my dear. I'm afraid I must apologize. What for? Abysmal timing. I don't... Guards! Guards! Help! Are you trying to toy with us, human? Watch your tongue. That's Chesford's kid. Huh. <sighs> Fine. Is there a problem, boy? Arrest this woman. What? She's a thief and a kidnapper. Throw her in prison. Right away. Let me go. That ship's mine. I've got the deed right here. We had a deal. You... You liar! That overdressed lily-livered bastard. I hope he chokes on his own cravat. How dare he accuse me like that? Guilty? Of course I'm not. Not anymore, anyway. We worked it out. Why'd he wait so long to call the guard? They'll have to let me go once they see my name on the airship deed. If they even bother reading it. This is so unfair. Let's see. Claret Spencer, charged with theft and kidnapping. I'm not guilty. I demand a trial. Trial? <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you hear that? Yes, I did, sir. Riveting. Do you want to get out of here, human? You're going to tell me what I want to know. Where's the location of the rebel hideout? The what? Who's the leader of the rebel movement? How would I know? Give me names, then. Who's involved? Uh... I don't know. Hmm. She's obviously been trained to resist interrogation. Sir, she may not be involved at all. The report said she was accused by one Sullivan Chesterford? The spoiled Chesterford brat? Hmm. <laughs> I see. What a bother. You take this one, Dachan. I have real criminals to deal with.
Clear it? Spencer, is it? Yeah, so? Interesting. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, I can't believe this. Jake! So you do know each other. Are you... Are you a prisoner? Claret, I... Perhaps you weren't listening when I ordered you to remain silent. Transfer this one to the fortress. I want him under maximum guard. What's your deal? My brother didn't do anything. I'm afraid that's not the case. He was discovered this morning attempting to conceal a half-breed. But that's not what I want to discuss with you. You see, you're not the only one who wants to escape this prison. I've come up with a plan that will benefit us both. I don't need a plan. I'm not even guilty. Your brother is. Not to worry, I can help him. But I will do so I will do so only if you help me. What is it you want? The warden wants to expose the rebel sleeper cells gathering here in the city. Doing so will grant him great prestige among the upper echelons of my people. Unfortunately for him, that prestige will inexorably be mine. While he chases ghosts, I will focus on my attention on a more practical problem, the Red Spectre. I already told you guys I'm not involved with anything like that. Hell, this is my only my second time to Uptown. Just listen. I've studied his movements. I'm certain that the Red Spectre is not only affiliated with the Rebels quite intimately, but is planning a jailbreak here. I will transfer you to a new cell. When the Red Spectre attempts his jailbreak, you should be able to escape with the rest of the prisoners at he's after. From there, it's simple. Let him take you to his hideout, discover his identity, and report back to me. If you succeed, you and your brothers will go free. But I... Where you can refuse and your brother will die. Who knows how long you'll rot in here. Don't leave me with a whole lot of choices. You understand then. Come with me. Don't speak of our arrangement to anyone, or this whole thing will fall apart. I look forward to hearing from you. Clear it! So they caught you too. Didn't I didn't think the Skyborn would throw a human in with us. A new low for them, I guess. Corwin, what's going on? Everyone I know is in jail now, it seems. You, me, and Jake too. They said he was caught with a half-breed. Was that half-breed you? I'm... I'm sorry, Claret. I shouldn't have lied to you about it. It put you in danger. Did Jake know? Yes, from the beginning. He's the one who found me, after all. A few years ago, you were hurt. He told me you'd been attacked on the street. In a way, I suppose. I attacked myself. See how some of us have little half-wings? A half-breed in hiding will try to bind them close to the, the body to cover them up. My method was a bit more... extreme. Corwin! That's awful! Not as awful as a half-breed is treated. You'd think it's bad being a human looked down on by the Skyborn? Far worse living as a mix of the two races that despise each other. Both part of and less than either. I didn't know. Everyone, back away from the wall! Everyone, come with me quickly. The guards will have heard that. You're no half-breed. Yeah, they just threw me in here. It's the Red Spectre. The prisoners have escaped. Sound the alarm! There's an underground waterway that leads to the way out of here. Follow me as best as you can while I get the others to safety. Chess. I like chess. Herb. More herb. Another herb. In a branch of life. 
Yay! Branches of life. Ruby. Corwin, you're bleeding. False! <laughs> Clary, you're the only one getting punched. Oh, right. You just... You just instantly healed yourself. With magic? Yeah, not very useful. What the? Healing sounds plenty useful to me. All the other half-breeds have been able to manage at least a fireball or something. The best I can do is curl up in a ball and take a beating and survive it. At least it doesn't get me caught. Why would that not get you caught? True healing magic is a rare fluke. There's only a hit, one full-blooded Skyborn able to use it, so it probably never occurred to anyone that a half-breed could as well. Can you heal other people too? Or maybe Corwin? Aren't you going? Aren't you at? Aren't you at all curious to find out what you can do? I'd be experimenting left and right if I had magic. Sheesh. I'd rather not have powers at all. Well, too bad. Feel free to practice on me if I get hurt. Poor moon is now level 3. Cure wisdom. Alright, let's make our way through the dungeon. Well, look at that. Looks like some iron ore. We should nab as much of that stuff as possible so I can craft it some gear. Ka ching So, um, how does this help us? Can't you be optimistic about anything? It's simple, really. I just need to find a forge. Jackpot. Well then, I can make any kind of weapons or armor with ore. Looks like you could use some protection there, Corwin. Thanks, but I'm not really one for heavy armor. It'll weigh me down, and you too, frankly. Psh. I can make lighter things like chain mail or clothing. Uh, clothing? From iron ore? How does that work? Watch and learn, Kim Kimbose? Kimosabe? Uh, armor. Medium armor. Let's go with... Arms. Tier 1 iron. Iron grips. Alright, so this man has a build of 7, an equip weight of 2. Uh, status of cleric, build of 7, and an equip weight of 2. Alright. So if I understood the tutorial correctly, um, you're 
uh, up here in the upper right hand corner you have your attacks. And uh, if you're over your build weight, you'll attack slower. So probably less. Yeah. Think of it as Final Fantasy X or X2, where you have. It's uh, turn based, but not like every other. So, like, you could attack twice before the enemy attacks once if you're far faster than him, that sort of thing. What? In an experience node. And one shot. Convenient. Yes. Large chest. Sapphire bracers. Equip. Oh, no. Equip on this guy. MP plus three, HP plus two. Plus five evasion. Yep, better than what I have currently. There was no red number, so of course it's better. And That sounds fantastic. Burn the world! Collectibles, because collectibles are fantastic. And get into another battle. Loses. For slimes. Magic barrier. Mm -hmm. 
Burn the world! Region. in the world again! Here Claret, you did not learn anything. Why you no learn anything, Claret? Iterate. Well, HP and magic restored. That sounds useful. any debuffs from friend. Ow. Well, when you just got crit really hard. And you crit him back. That'll show him. the button. Mm. 
What's up here? Lots of things, like the city. But we still have this area over here that we haven't explored. Napalm! on fire again. What did we get? Ooh, diamond ring. Poor imps, they got burned. Poor imps, light them on fire again. Anything else we can check out down here? More iron. Arcane dust. And five of spades. Ooh, the warden. That's far enough, prisoners. That damned vigilante may have freed the others, but you two aren't so lucky. Time to die. I told that one a healer. Ooh, 
Okay, I will... Yeah, I like those better. I'll give the Iron Gauntlets. No, never mind. I'll just save them for now. The Red Spectre's hideout. Half-breeds, I'm here to offer you refuge from your Skyborne pressures. Hundreds of mixed-blood people have t been taken by the Skyborne, never to be seen again. They spread their propaganda, making you into monsters in the public eye. Half-breeds may be the worst of the Skyborne's victims, but you are not alone. Humans! Humans, too, are chaff under, their boot, uh, under the burden of Skyborne rule. There are those among us, humans and half-breeds both, who have decided to rise up against them. We've built our headquarters here in this very city. We welcome all who have suffered under this regime. Let this rebellion be your refuge. If you so choose, I will lead you there. Thank you. This is going to be easier than I thought. It's very fortunate that you're here. You know me? Let's just say we have a mutual friend. I understand you have an airship docked in Uptown? Yes. Would you consider joining the Resistance? I don't normally recruit so suddenly, but given your history, I wonder if you might be open to the idea. My history? What, the tiny one, the one tiny run-in with the law? Still, if this can help free Jake, I'm interested. Tell me a little more about this Resistance first. At the moment, we're not very large, mainly half-breeds, that we freed from imprisonment in sympathetic humans. We're short on everything from manpower to gear, but we're growing slowly, but surely. Eventually, we will kick these winged bastards right out of the city. I don't know how anyone can stand by and watch what they do to half-breeds, innocent people grabbed out of their homes or right off the streets to be tested for magical abilities. Do you know what their test is? No. Torture. They literally torture half-breeds to see if they can make them snap and lash out with magic. The ones that don't are set free for a while if they survive the process. That's horrible. I didn't realize. I have to do this anyway. Okay, sign me up. Excellent. Goodness, that does make things easier. Flying down to the city slums tonight will get us back to the base much faster, and we won't have to worry about sneaking all these peop people through town without arousing suspicion. Come, let's clear the way for these folks. And I think with that, we are going to end the episode here. Until next time, where we continue our adventures in Skyborne. Bye-bye now.